Alright, so I will explain about the formula for the operating cycle. So the first, the first one is operating cycle. So uh, the formula is day sales of inventory plus day sales outstanding. So for the day sales of inventory is uh, 365 per purchases multiply average uh, inventories. For the day sales outstanding days, uh, sales outstanding is 365 per receivable multiply average account receivable. So for in 2017, uh, in purchases, the amount is 664286. In 2018, the amount is 809513. Uh, the amount for 2019, the amount is 6984674. Uh, uh, the amount for the 2020 uh, is 1021826. And for 2021st is 1361.5. Uh, one four four. So, uh, if we uh, multiply for the average inventories, uh, so the amount for the average inventories is uh, four six one three two six. Uh, in two thousand eighteen, four nine eight eight four seven. Uh, in two thousand nineteen, the amount is five four one one o two point five. So the amount for uh, two thousand twenty two is uh, five seven four five four eight point five. And the amount for the 2021 is 6711128.5. So uh, let's take uh, a formula about uh, day sales outstanding. So for the day sales outstanding is 365 per receivable. So what is the uh, amount for receivable in 2017? So the receivable in 2017 is 24283. In 2018, 21533. 2019, 15. Uh, 807 2020 13056 and 2021 9228 so we must uh, multiply to the average account uh, receivable so the amount for into so the amount for uh, average account receivable in 2017 is 24514 2018 22908 2019 18670 2020 14431.5 and 2021 is 11142. So uh, if we calculate and using the formula, so uh, the answer for the operating cycle is for the uh, uh, operating cycle is uh, in 2018 is six six uh, six two two days uh, in 2018 uh, 18 six one three days uh, 2019. Nine, uh, 632 days uh, 2020 is 609 days and the last one is for 2021st is 621 about cash conversion cycle cash conversion cycle is a metric that express the time measured in days that it takes for the company to convert its investments in inventory and other resources into cash flows from sales it is also attempts to measure how long each net input dollar is tied up in the production and sales process before it gets converted into cash received. The formula to compute cash conversion cycle is days inventory outstanding plus days sales outstanding and minus days payable outstanding. To calculate days inventory outstanding, also known as days sales of inventory, is average inventory divided by cost of goods sold and times to 365 days. To compute average inventory, we need to find in beginning inventory plus ending inventory and total of both, we divide it by 2. Next, for day sales outstanding, DSO, we can get the amount by average account receivables divided by revenue per day. For average account receivables, we need to find beginning account receivable and ending account receivables. And the total of amount will be divided by 2. For revenue per day, we just divide it by 365 days. Last but not least is days payable outstanding, DPO. The formula to get the amount is average account payable divided by cost of goods sold per day. Same goes to other average formula. We need to find beginning account payable plus amount of ending account payable and divide it by 2. Cost of goods sold per day, we just need to divide it with 365 days. After we get all the values, then we can calculate our cash conversion cycle for our company which is Nestle. Cash conversion cycle equal to DIO plus DSO and minus DPO. Now, we can take a look at the table shown. We have calculated for 5 sequence years starting with year 2017 until 2021. 
the amount we get for a year 2017 is 24.62 for 2018 49.18 2019 52.58 and year 2020 52.65 and for the last year is 55.31 for 2021 from the amount that has been calculated we can see the trend that the amount keep increase each year until reach to its higher point in year 2021 shows that nestle company takes more days each year to convert its investment in inventory and other resources into cash flow from sales i think that's all for my slide i will pass this slide to my crewmate to further this presentation the performance of operating cycle in Nestle company over the last five years starting from 2017, the operating cycle was 622 days and suddenly decreased to 613 days in 2018. The decrease that occurs is due to a company's ability to collect credit sales more quickly. After that, the operating cycle was increased to 632 days in 2019 and decreased to 609 days in 2020. The increase in the operating cycle means that Nestle company has a longer operating cycle where the company requires more cash to maintain operation. Unexpectedly, the operating cycle was increased to 621 days in 2021. Overall, the good performance in the operating cycle for this company is in 2020, which is, is 609 days because a shorter operating cycle is more favorable as it means the company has enough cash to maintain operations, recover investment and meet various obligations. In that case, the faster the company generates cash, the easier it will be to pay off any outstanding debts or expand their business accordingly. Next is for the performance of cash conversion cycle or known as cash cycle over the last five years. As we can see, Nestle cash cycle results show an increase from 2017 to 2021. The cash conversion cycle has shown a continuous increase, which is in 2017, the cash cycle is 25 days and rising sharply to 49 days in 2018. This has happened when a Nestle company takes an extended period of time to collect outstanding accounts receivable has too much inventory in hands or pay its expenses too quickly that can lengthen the cash conversion cycle. In addition, the cash conversion cycle in 2019 also increased by 4 days from 2018, which is 53 days and then remained unchanged in 2020, but it was increased to 55 days in 2021. In the other hand, it was not a good sign since uh, the cash cycles need to be lower to be better. So a lower number in the cash cycle between those five years is in 2017 which is 25 days, meaning that their working capital is not tied up for a longer period of time and their business has created liquidity in terms of cash flow. A shorter cash conversion cycle also means that the company is healthy. Thank you, Nadia. So next, I will be presenting the suggestion of type of working capital financing for Nestle Berhad. So working capital financing is needed by most of the company, no matter its size, and it can is meant to finance the assistant order from a client to deliver a numbers of good. Uh, working capital financing can help corporate to manage their working capital in order to satisfy their profitability and also liquidity. There are a few benefit that corporate there are a few benefit for corporate to apply working capital financing. The first one is uh, corporate do, working capital financing do not have to secure any collateral where Company like Nestle Berhad, they have high credit rating. They do not have they can get easy approval for working capital finances and do not have to secure any collateral for the banks. Second is um working capital financing also provide a uh, flexible repayment structure for the companies. So a uh, greater flexibility of repayment structure can help companies to manage their cash flow and also gain higher profit during the high peak, uh, during the peak season. So there are a few type of working capital finances that Nestle Berhad can apply, which is short-term loan, loan, uh, account receivable loans, bank overdraft, and also revolving credit facilities. Next, there are two suggestions for Nestle Berhad to take into consideration, which is Maybank and MBank. Nestle Berhad can take Maybank into consideration because Maybank has strong foundation to provide huge amount of funds that is needed by public listed company because public listed company need huge amount of working capital to finance their day-to-day -day operation. So uh, Maybank provides two products, which is called distributor supplier financing and professional business loan to the businesses uh, who needed working capital financing. Uh, these two products are the overdraft products that Maybank provides to business and they fall under the category of working capital financing. Uh, by applying to these pro two products, Nestle Baha can enjoy the benefit of 
flexible term and condition to do their repayment. And these two products also act as a source of quick finance to the company who need quick cash on sales season. Yes. Besides, these two products also provide friendly interest costs to Nestle Bahad, where interest will only be charged when Nestle Bahad utilizes the overdraft functions. Uh, by applying to these two products, Nestle Bahad also can get to borrow a loan amount up to 200,000 ringgit Malaysia and do not have to worry about lock-in period and it's, these two products will not be charging any early settlement penalty fees to the Nestle Bahad. The second option that Nestle Baha can take into consideration is MBank. MBank has provided a product called Term Financing and Loan, where it can secure funds for Nestle Baha up to five years, and it has a very flexible repayment structure that provides monthly installment for Nestle Baha. Uh, Nestle Baha can use this product to purchase any fixed asset. Hi, my name is Farish Anil Mintimanzani. My metric number is 286204. I, as the next presenter, We'll continue to the next question, which is document required by the bank for working capital finance that needed. Uh, our team has come to consensus that we will use two products from two different banks, which is uh, Maybank and MBank. This banking product will be a professional business loan from Maybank and term financing loan from MBank. Therefore, in order for the Nestle company to submit an application for this banking facility, the Nestle company must satisfy a number of requirements established by the bank. Our first recommendation is Maybank Berhad Professional Business Loan or Financing I, which is customized for selected uh, supplier for overdraft or cash line financing to package without collateral for professional business. Nestle company, as a borrower, must provide the bank with a letter of guarantee signed by the director. This letter of guarantee will be used as collateral or security for the financing. When the company uses this product, Maybank will be charged uh, will charge interest based on a variable rate basis. There are five fees and charge for the company to be paid, which is stamp duties, legal fees, committee fees, assist fees, or assist fees on overdraft and tax. The following are detailed about each payment and charge that must be paid by the Nestle company. First, Nestle company has to pay stamp duties, which is required by the Stamp Duty Act of 1949, which was changed in 1989. For the legal fees, it will charge charge the fees for the preparation of all documentation and the per perfection of the bank security document that were incurred during transaction. The company also need to pay commitment fee of 1% per annum to be levied on the unused portion of overdraft facility. Following that, an overdraft fee of 1% per year will be charged on the outstanding balance. Lastly, the company need to pay the tax charge as it imposed by the government. Next, uh, following that, we recommend uh, to the Nestle company to use MBank Group's uh, product financing, which is term financing and loan product service. However, there is no information that uh, how the corporate company can apply for this facility on the MBank Group website. Therefore, this disclosure of information is private for the bank, and uh, the, the Nestle company need to uh, call for the center to, to get uh, more information about that. However, based on the website, this product and services demonstrate that there are numerous number, numerous advantages for the company to supply for loan. The benefit that can be enjoyed are the Nestle can use the term loan for purchase fixed asset, for instance, property or equipment. Next, uh, the company can use term loan as working capital as well for renovation. This term loan can be used as short-term loan for the company to run its business. And the last benefit is that the account can be linked to the electronic channel by the lender. These facilities are flexible for the company. Uh, that's all from me and for our group presentation. In conclusion, working capital financing is needed by most of the businesses, no matter its size. Companies like Nestle Berhad who have good credit scores can get approval of working capital loans easily and do not have to secure any collateral. Besides that, most of the working capital financing provides flexible repayment options to the companies. If a company has enough working capital, it can continue to pay its employees and suppliers and meet other obligations such as interest payments and taxes even if it runs into cash flow challenges. Other than that, cash conversion cycle will be an indispensable tool in ensuring success and profit maximization in business operation. This is because through the application of cash conversion cycle, a business firm may determine the overall working capital of the firm at any period during business operations. I think that's all from us. Thank you.